Dreyer was able to get Falconetti's face to be a giant landscape. When you see Falconetti's face 20 feet high, it makes an, an unforgettable impression on you and, and puts you into an altered state. It, it completely enchants you in, in a way that it is uh, almost like witchcraft. Excuse the pun because we're talking about Joan of Arc being burned at the stake. But the, the, the expressions on her face and every movement of the skin above her eyebrows is registered. And Dreyer knew that that was important to get his emotion, the emotional charge across to the audience, and it certainly did. And if you see it on a tiny screen, it certainly doesn't. Faces, well, like Gloria Swanson said in Sunset Boulevard, we had faces. We didn't need lines. Uh, the emotions that can be expressed in the face in a close-up was what were the, the thing that D.W. Griffith discovered, that it had so much power, and, and uh, all these people never, they didn't stay with Griffith, and he didn't make them stay. If they found a better job, they, he would let them go because their faces were recognizable to all the people in the audience. And D.W. didn't really understand that, but he had made it happen with the use of the close-up. And Hitchcock uh, made really good use of the close-up in his thriller films when he would come right with the thing he would call the MacGuffin. He would come right in on close-up to it, like as, as in Sabotage, when he's about to blow up the little boy, the puppy dog, and the old lady in the, in the tram. Uh, he, he has a tight close-up on the bomb, which is in a film can sitting on top of a box that's tied neatly with a string, and you see everything that's 20 feet high on the screen. George Stevens is another a director that really used the close-up to great effect in A Place in the Sun with Monty Clift and uh, Elizabeth Taylor when they were dancing and they, everything that was happening was happening right there on their faces. And you could see the entire movie. <laughs> I mean, the, that they were plotting this and that he had needed that and that she was, that all those emotions were there without a line. And then the next time I really saw the, the, the close-up being used again was in the, uh, to great effect was in The Thin Blue Line by Errol Morris. Uh, he had that face up there, and it was immense. And this is a, a, another example of the, the importance of scale in, in appreciating or uh, and being able to actually see, with a capital S, a motion picture, because it has to be bigger than you and envelop you. And a close-up does that. A close-up does that really well, does it more than any other type of imagery, I think.